I have a lot of irons in the fire on this channel, but I have that huge stack of unopened subscription boxes and I really want to get into them and get them off my shelf so I can use those shelves for other things. So here's one from February 2018. Let's see what's inside. Ta da! Oh boy. <laughs> Chameleon markers. At least this one might be relatively easy, right? <laughs> There's your history, project pointers, what's in the box, your tools, very old brochure obviously, little project. That's really cute. <laughs> Alright, what do we have? Oh, nice. A whole thing of fine liners. My grandma would love these. She does these amazing Zentangle pieces with fine liners. It's really neat colored ones too. And because art is cool and my Grammy is even cooler, I immediately stopped editing this video and called her up and asked her if she could send me some pictures of her really awesome Zentangle pieces. So what you're seeing right now on the screen is just a little slideshow of all the ones that she chose to send to us that I could share on this video. They're so fun and she really does use her fine liners, all of them, <laughs> and the colored ones. So if I don't end up keeping these, I know she would sure enjoy using them, so it won't be a loss at all. And she sent us quite a good sampling, and so there are just a few more images left, and then we'll be back to our regularly scheduled unboxing and art doing. <laughs> She's amazing. Thank you, Grammy, for sending these to share. I have a chameleon marker RD3 thing. Oh, look, and these colors here. So I've actually heard these chameleon markers are quite expensive, so maybe quite a few. And marker paper by Strathmore. Isn't that cute? All right, I think that's it. And I've seen so many people do these chameleon markers, but I don't really remember how. So it looks like one blender pen, and these are all color tops with a red color top. Should probably read the directions, huh? All right, well, forget that. Let's do this first. All right, fine liners are easy. Let's see if the color on these fine liners matches the color tops. These are a triangular barrel, so kind of interesting. It's hard to tell because they are so fine. <laughs> eh, I don't know. I was kind of surprised because the caps matched way better than I thought. It was only the few darker colors like the dark green and the dark purple that really were like, nah, those don't match really at all. So not bad. And then I spent an eternity struggling and trying to remember how to use these darn things. I didn't want to look up a video. It just seemed like too much work. <laughs> so yeah, an eternity and a half. But I finally figured it out and I made my very first blend and it was really fun. So those color tops, the ones that came in the little plastic box, they cannot be colored with by themselves. There's no nib where you can pull it out and just color on your paper with those colors. So I had to use the red double-sided marker to do mixes. And you can see I can get those pure colors just by mixing enough, but if I keep going, then it's going to go back to the red. So you have to have the other type of marker in the chameleon in order to color with just those colors by themselves. Otherwise, you just have to mix and let it come out on the paper and stop it before it goes to the color that you're actually mixing with. Real quick, this is a cat toy. The book I have not put on the shelf yet. <laughs> I will do that. This is the art subscription box that I opened just now and I set it down on the floor. I was about to go put it on the fire and yes, I know I need to vacuum. <laughs> I found him sleeping in it. Hi, Bobo. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna ignore me again. <laughs> I did not want to draw a Cupid like they did even though it's adorable. <laughs> I went to Joanna Bassford's Inky Art School. Put a little clip in here for you. So what you're seeing right here is the playlist she has on her YouTube channel and all of this is linked below so don't worry. But you can see there's a bunch of different videos she's put into a playlist called Inky Art School. And they're just fun. She makes it so easy and it's a really great relaxing activity to do. So I highly recommend going to check out her channel. I have mentioned her before and I think it's just fun. She doodle draws things and I really like that so I practiced a couple of the drawing flowers it's the inky art school day one how to draw flowers that thing and these are still just pencil ones but I did use this black fine liner and the red fine liner from our box and I didn't know if we could actually draw with these markers over them without it smearing so I thought we should test that so these fine liners are water based but it seems to be taking this marker just fine. So it looks like we could fine line all we want to with that. This one smeared a little bit. 
Or is it the pencil that I didn't erase underneath smearing? I thought I erased all that pretty well, but I think what is happening is where this fine liner is over the top of the pencil, the pencil wouldn't erase, but this marker might be pulling that pencil out through. Interesting. I'm pretty sure that's what's going on there because this fine liner seems to be staying right where it's supposed to. Okay, good. So we can use these together. I was hoping that was the case. We will do this kind of flowery thing on a much larger scale and use our chameleon markers and our fine liners to make some creations. I think it'll be a blast. Let's get to it. So first things first is to make these itty bitty drawings into really big drawings or at least big enough that we can use these larger markers and color them in at the uh, end here. So that was definitely the first order of business. So it was really cool because once she teaches you how to do these little drawings, it, you just know it's so easy to recreate them. So I do want to go through all of her other videos and just play in my sketchbook with them. It was really fun taking the sketches and then like moving them to a much bigger drawing where I was coloring them in with markers. So that might be something to do. I have a render sketchbook I have never used. So how fun would that be? And using this black fine liner here, it just felt like any other fine liner. Maybe a little bit softer tip, although it's so fine. <laughs> That, that's not anything I really noticed. And it didn't bend the tip over, or do anything weird to the tip. Just used it like a regular old fine liner, so that was pretty neat. And here I'm just erasing all of my pencil mark, what I didn't get before, and trying the chameleon markers. And I do put a few clips in here of real time, so you can kind of see how that works. And one of them's coming up as soon as I finish. There we go, here we are. So I just did a back and forth motion. This is still sped up by 300% because I was trying to be very careful. So you see how it flows from the color that you pour on the top basically into the red, since the red was the only mixing base that I had. I love that one. This one's so cool. I do this one 300% uh, also for you guys, so you can at least get an idea of what this looks like. And now I'll just stick some music in, but it doesn't take long for me to finish up this little illustration. <laughs> in real time though, I was there for way over an hour, but anyway, now I'm just talking the whole time and you probably won't get any music anyway. <laughs> I do regret a few color choices. Oh look, see, there's not going to be any music. But, you know, with limited color palette for the mixing, uh, I did what I could. I wish I would have brought some of that bright orange down into the bottom flower that ends up under that left hand most of the time. Well, now it's by my left thumb. That one, the one I'm filling in right now. I wish I would have brought orange and I didn't fill in that aqua color. I wish I didn't do the aqua color in the middle is what I'm trying to say. And there it is. All right, that was actually really fun. <laughs> I did not think that I would like these chameleon markers. I have seen so many people try and use them and review them and they just seem eh, kind of gimmicky, but it was fun in this kind of coloring book setting. And what was really fun was creating my own page, page, <laughs> my own designs to color and then using these. So we have very limited selection here, obviously, because I only have the red as the mixer. So if we had other mixers, obviously we'd get way different combinations but yeah and I could have made the red go from light to light red to the normal red but I never did try that creating my own coloring page and then coloring it in and then having these gradients with the limitations of the colors and these cool fine liners to add in some details in fact I think I want some yellow here I just really really enjoyed myself if you hear crinkling in the background that's that cat he's still in that box and he just flipped over and faced the other direction, still in the box. There, I would say if you have a coloring book with like the bigger spaces, like I made these leaves really big, then these are really fun for that. I mean, I would fully recommend them. I think that it's kind of cool, the little bit of unpredictability, but yet it is and isn't unpredictable. You know, you count the seconds you're holding the top on the bottom and you kind of know then where each one is going to start changing color. So yeah, if you have that big space coloring book, go for it. These are really fun and they're smooth. I didn't have a problem with this paper either. Let's uh, flip it over. You see the ghosting, but nothing came through on the desk. Well, what do you guys think? Have you ever tried chameleon markers? I know we have this long-term project going here for trying out to see how long 
it will take to use up these Himimiya watercolor paints. And what I meant to do was line this and then trace it onto watercolor paper too and then use this paint with that. I thought that would be really fun, but I forgot to do that. But now that I know how to draw these flowers and just kind of put them down randomly, I could probably do that. So if I do that, I will let you guys know. All right, that was really fun. We have one more box emptied. I don't think I'm actually going to keep the chameleons. I don't, wow, they were super fun, but it's not something that I turn to all the time, markers. I just love markers, but I don't know, with just the one color mixer, I don't know that I would so much use them. I think somebody else could get better use out of them. So I think I'll put them in the giveaway bin. Fine liners, uh, I'm not super thrilled with these, but they're a fine liner, so they're not meant for filling in big spaces like I tried to do so and they're also not compatible with each other when i was going over the black with one of these colors like the yellow it blurred it out so while this marker can go over the top of these fine liners these fine liners cannot go over the top of each other <laughs> which means they're going to blend really well with each other these are water based but i don't know like a more permanent fine liner might be the thing for me. So I'm going to put these in the I don't know category right now. And if I use them or think I might be using fine liners in this color, I could use them under alcohol markers. Maybe that would work. Maybe I would reach for them. And if I don't use them soon, I will give them to my grandma because she will love these. All right, enough rambling for now. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye for now. But wait, hold the phone. We're almost at a thousand subscribers. As of the time of this recording, we are at 993 subscribers. And I wondered if you guys wanted to do a 1000 subscriber Q&A. So if you have any questions you want to ask me, put them in the comments below and I'll try to include them in the next video. I'm so excited. Thank you guys so much. You are all amazing. Stay tuned for bloopers and animal videos. Well, at least this one might be sub. So, I was hoping we'd get a nice purple in here. This keeps going and going and going. Oh, you two cutie pies. <laughs> <laughs> now he's happy feeding on her head. Oh, now he's eating her again. <laughs> Poor Blanca. <laughs> <laughs> Did you guys get caught? <laughs> Cuties.